Hi everybody, I'm here today with Peggy Webb, a frequent commenter on the Heart Key is Online blog. We're sitting at Waffle House in Nashville having a coffee clatch and just really enjoying getting to know each other. And in the process, Peggy's told me a pretty amazing testimony about how things are going for her in her nourishment campaign. So, Peggy, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, your journey? Okay. Um, I had an undis undiscovered birth defect in my legs that made my the bones in my legs grow like little S's. And I put a lot of pressure on my knees as I was growing up. And as a result, I lost a lot of the cartilage in my knees and had to have, over the course of my life, 13 knee surgeries between the two knees. Um, the surgeries, of course, were back in the 1970s before all the cool microsurgery that they do now, this recovery time in three days. So I spent a lot of my youth in cylinder casts and in the hospitals. As a result, as I aged, I got a lot of arthritis in my knees. Uh, a lot of grinding, a lot of, a lot of popcorning when I tried to move, and a lot of pain. After a while, the doctor said, well, you really are a, a good candidate for knee replacement surgery if the replacements will stick, which we don't know because of the underlying birth defect. So they put me on steroids, a lot of pain medication, and they said, you know, just keep your upper body strength because eventually you'll be in a wheelchair. Eventually, there's not much we can do for your knees, and you'll just need to be able to get that wheelchair going. So I tried to keep my upper body strength good, and just tried to get along with a cane. A good day for me was sitting in a chair on pain medication. A bad day was laying in bed. Uh, when I finally got my diet straightened out, I read Nourishing Traditions about a year ago and was immediately sold on all the delicious looking food and all the real food. So I started trying this, this new diet, this Weston Price diet that I'd heard about. And after a couple of months, I noticed that I was getting a little bit better. So I canceled the doctor's appointment that I had for getting evaluated to see if I needed a walker to get around and just stuck to the diet and tried that. After a few after a few more months, I noticed that I really didn't even need my cane so much to get around anymore. I wasn't bent over and hobbling like an old lady so much anymore. After about seven months on the diet, I noticed I wasn't taking pain pills anymore. After about 11 months on the diet, I could walk a mile without limping, without pain, without soreness, without popping and grinding in my knees. It's been a year now, and I couldn't even tell you where my cane is. I don't need it anymore. I haven't taken a pain pill in months. I don't swell, I don't ache, I don't hurt. I can walk, I can get around, I can chase my kids through the living room. It's a wonderful feeling. And I know that it's been cleaning up my diet, getting rid of the processed foods, eating real foods, including raw milk, real fats, and all the healthy foods that come with no barcodes that I make in my own kitchen. Wow, thank you for sharing that. Well, thank you for asking. <laughs> um, I'm going to be guest blogging quite often, I hope, at the Natural Cures Blog Carnival at Heart Kia is Online on Tuesdays, and I hope to see everybody there. Thank you so much for your testimony, and it's great getting to know you better. Thanks, Peggy. Thank you, Kimberly.